Lesson 8.3, count and order to 20. We count forward, which is count on, to 20 from a given number. We use the terms greater than or less than to compare and describe the order of numbers. Here are the numbers to 20 in counting order. Knowing the order of numbers can help us count and help us to know which number is greater or which number is less. We can choose one of these numbers and draw a line under it. Let's choose, oh, let's choose 16. So I can draw a line under the 16, because that's the one we're choosing. 16 is one greater than 15, and it's one less than 17. 17 is one greater than 16. This number here, the next number after 16 is one greater. And we can count on from 16. We say 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Here's Bill. Bill made cards for seven, eight, nine, and six. He wants to show the cards in order. That means he needs to put them in counting order. When we count, we say six, seven, eight, nine. That means the six is going to come before the seven for counting order. We have six, seven, eight, nine. Now they're in counting order. Here we have some 10 frames with counters in them. We need to count the dots and write the numbers. In this 10 frame, I see one, two, three, four. We can write the number four. For this one, I see five because this top row is full. That's five, six, seven. We can write seven. In this one, I see the top row is full, so that's five, and one more is six. Here, the 10 frame is almost full, but one is missing. That means it's one less than 10. This must be nine. And this one, I can see there are two. We can write a two. For this one, I see the 10 frame is completely full, that's 10. Here, I see the top row is full. That's 5. Here, the top row is full. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8. Here, I see a 1. Here, I see 3. Now we need to write the numbers in counting order. One is first. Do you know what comes next? If you said two, you're right. Then three, then four, then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we have some dots as counters in ten frames. We know how many are here by starting with a full ten frame of ten and counting on. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There are eighteen red counters here. This one has 10 and six more. We have a five and a one, so that's 16. Here we have two 10 frames that are almost full for both of them, except one is missing and one less than 20 is 19. And here we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that one's 17. We need to put them in counting order. We write the least number first. 
that would be the number with the fewest counters in the tenth frames. That would be 16. 19 is the greatest number. It has 10 frames with the most counters in them. Do you know what numbers go here and here? If you think about counting order, we say 16, 17, 18, 19. In counting order, 16, 17, 18, 19. These numbers are in counting order, but some numbers are missing. We need to write in the missing numbers. When we count, we have 1, 2, 3. What number is 1 greater than 3 and 1 less than 5? What number comes in between 3 and 5? Do you know? If you said 4, you're correct. We say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What number is 1 greater than 6? It's 1 less than 8. If you said 7, you're correct. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What number comes here? What number is 1 greater than 14? If you said 15, you got it right. 15 is a 1 with a 5 next to it. Now we have 15, 16, 17. What number is 1 greater than 17 and 1 less than 19? What number comes after 17 in counting order and comes before 19 in counting order? If you said 18, you're correct. Now we have all the numbers in counting order and we've filled in all the missing numbers. In our next lesson, 8.4, we're going to work on some problem solving and we're going to compare numbers to 20. We're going to compare one number to another number. I hope you have a really good day. I hope you're doing well. Please hit the like button and please join me next time. Bye.